Hey guys, the Project Source five shelf heavy duty boatless storage unit. So these are boatless shelves, you get them at Lowe's. Uh, I've already done a video or two on them. I have another set that I have to build. So I'm gonna go ahead and film another one. I've unboxed everything and you can see here, you can do it uh, levels of, of three side by side, but you only got five boards. So that's what it'll look like. Or you can do them tall. That's where these middle shelf brackets come into play. So I've unpacked everything in the two boxes. That's that's one three set of shelves, and that's the other set. Step one is unbox everything. All you really need is a hammer. Uh, this time I'm going to use a rubber mallet. You can use a regular hammer. You just might damage a little bit of the finish if you hit it too hard. Get two of your end supports and one of your shelf brackets. Notice the shelf bracket has a flat spot and an angled edge. The flat edge goes up to hold the shelf board. Notice the oblong shape in your corner supports. You want your flat spot to go up. We're going to make this the bottom shelf. You're going to put it from the inside to the outside so that shelf support is up. Put it in the bottom two so that they push down into the narrow part of the groove. You're going to need to use a hammer to tap them down in there all the way. Like so. They go in the bigger hole and then you tap them down into the skinny hole and they they tighten up like so and then you do that with the other side and then all the way around all four sides one short one the long one put it in one of your corner supports it'll hold it up and then you can build your entire frame easily i'm just going to go ahead and do that real quick Get your bottom all done. Put your board in now to help support it if you want. I'm not going to because I got to move these inside first. Once you get your bottom frame to hold everything together, now you need to count up and figure out how you want your shelf spaced. Then you just count up from the top to the where your bottom of your next one is going to be. This is the bottom support. Count to the where the bottom of your next one is going to be. Flat spot up and put them in all the way around the same way. Just remember your middle shelf is going to is going to hold the top and the bottom piece together. If you're doing five tall, you gotta realize you're gonna have to put this shelf in like so because it's going to hold with those plastic with these plastic shelf uh, installation tools, you're gonna be able to set this here, put this to lock it in with this around it. And I'll show you how to do that when we get to that step. So that third shelf up is your middle shelf and it's gonna hold the, the corner supports on top of each other. Those plastic tools that are hard to figure out make it really easy. Next step is figure out where your second shelf is going to go get all your supports put in bottom of my next shelf is going to be 11 up empty is number one and then 11 is where the bottom the bottom fastener of my next shelf support is going to go so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven Lock them in.
Next step, get your plastic middle shelf installation tool. I'm going to show you how to use it. I want you to see that raised up bump here, here. They're going to go in these slots. One is going to go one down on the bottom and one, one up. So you're going to have two that are left open and that's to put the, the shelf support on. So take this first raised bump, put it two down, see how it leaves this hole open and the next hole. You're going to take that, you're going to wrap it completely around and then you're going to fold that slot over like so and pull it back. Hold it here, hold it here and here to hold that raised bump in the slot. Go in the back here. So I got my thumbs on the ends. Grab this and then snap it in. Like so. Wrap it and snap it. Like that all the way around. Make sure it grabs that clip. Okay, I got my thumbs on both sides holding the clip in and holding that raised bump in the hole. You just push with these fingers here, snap it in. It's not going anywhere. Now, set it in here like so. Make sure this raised bump is in that groove. Wrap it around, clip it on the back side here, just like the other ones. Now just repeat the process. Put your thumbs there, take your fingers and snap it. Snap. There you go. Do that all the way around, and then you can put put your support in. So now make sure they're sitting on top of each other. Flat spot goes up, and then your bottom support goes in the top corner support of the bottom section. Your top support goes in the top support of the top section. I gave up on the rubber mallet. Just wanted to show you you could use it. If you have a rubber coated dead dead weight hammer, you might do better. Uh, mine was just bouncing. Do that on all four sides and then put your shelf supports in. the board sets in. I'm just going to do it right here so you don't have to watch the rest of the video and I'll show you the end result. They just lay in like that. That's why this flat part goes up because it, the board's got to sit on it. The board would not sit on this angled spot. These are to lock the shelving units together. Go in like so and lock down and then the other side will lock in to that other groove. The other side will lock in the other groove. So one groove, other groove, locks in like so, and then the other support locks into that next groove. And it keeps your shelving unit together. I'm not using those. I just wanted to show you what they're for. And the next part, plastic end caps. You just set them over the edge like so and then snap them right on top.
this is why I said to check them all before you put the boards in. That bottom one is in, but that top one is not. You know, it may have held, it may not have held. So check them all, put the boards in, then double check them before you load up the shelves. So there they are, guys. All built. I'm in the process of moving them back to the room I need them in. I got my sliders under all four corners, and it's they're moving easily as can be on the carpet. Do me a favor and hit the like, share, subscribe, and comment if you found any use in this video. Appreciate you. See you in the next one.